Hey there everyone, this is Deepak back again with another video. And today we are gonna discuss about how to install your own OpenStack at home in your own laptop. Yes, we are gonna install DevStack. Before starting uh, DevStack installation, let's discuss what is DevStack. DevStack is nothing but all-in-one OpenStack installation. DevStack can be used to practice to proof of concept to OpenStack or to develop something. It cannot be used for production deployment. Yet it will give you all modules you can practice each and everything in DevStack. So let's not waste the time and start installing our own DevStack. To install our own DevStack we would need 4 gig of RAM one CPU which support virtualization obviously, two virtual NIC cards and Ubuntu operating system which we already have we installed it in last lecture. So we'll simply go ahead and use the same virtual machine and start DevStack installation. As a first step we are gonna add user called stack. So the command to add user is user add hyphen s bin bash hyphen d the directory and m is for creating it and then we just go ahead and we will add this user into sudo our file so that we can use sudo as a stack to run some admin stuff. Let me do that with you. Okay, I'm gonna echo this user. Okay, it's, it's already there. Cool. So now let's log in as a stack. Okay, I am now stack user. Let me see my present working directory. I think yeah it is opt stack correct everything looks fine now let's go ahead and download the dev stack from git github if you do not have git installed this command might fail and you need to install git before running this command now dev stack Downloading will take some time. I'm gonna speed it up to save some time. Okay, it started downloading. And I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, completed. Now as we have devstack let's go into the devstack directory and let's create a local.conf. Now this is the file where devstack will look for variables. So this is the syntax. Now I'm gonna add let's say password so admin password, database password rabbitmq password i'm gonna i'm gonna add these all as variables and devstack when we start installing it it will refer this configuration file to learn the uh, password and it will set it for respective service i'm gonna copy the same line okay this will be rabbit I'll create another entry called service and that's it pretty much here. Now you can do a lot of things with this. You can pass a lot of variables but as this is gonna be basic installation I'm gonna simply um, add only password here. Now I'm gonna see if, uh, I'm gonna look for stack dot yeah stack rc. Now this is the file this is where I'm gonna hard code the 
uh, IP address of my first interface. So, okay, why I'm gonna do this? Because I know there is a bug in this script. It's not a bug actually. So this is designed to ignore all your all your IP addresses starting with 10.0.2. Why? Because it assumed that this is DHCP address coming from your host base adapter, which is not static. So it's just already done and let's start installing the dev stack. Okay, and now here we go. We have our first bug. No, it's not a bug actually. It's just saying that the uh, the dpkg command is already in progress and it, the lock is there. I just need to go ahead and delete the lock and just reboot the virtual machine. Now you cannot do it in production environment. If you wanna do it in production environment, you will have to consider who is logging and check the process can be terminated and many things to be honest. Now the virtual machine is already restarted and we are again back to the prompt. I'm gonna go into dev stack directory and see if if I have the same IP address there in stack RC. Just to verify because I don't wanna fail again. Okay, it is there. So let's save it and run the stack.sh. Okay, it's running now. This is gonna take a lot of time because it will download uh, some of the dependencies which are required and this might take a long time depending on the uh, speed of your internet. In my case, it is 100 megabyte per second. So... I'm gonna speed it up. Hopefully this time we will not see any bug. Okay, as a side note, if you are failing to do this, if you are not able to complete the dev stack installation your own, now I have created one pre-installed image which is exported as virtual appliance and I have uploaded it to my Google Drive. You can download it from the link given below in in the description so you can simply go click on the link and download the image import it into your virtual back box and everything should be uh, ready to start okay i can see that it is succeeded almost it's creating the um, flavors and dummy uh, project and everything okay tempest is the software which we you know this script will use to test if openstack installation is fine everything looks okay this is kind of performance functional testing you can say everything is functional and fine Congratulations, see, so we can see that, that it is tested okay, everything is fine. I am expecting the you know congratulations screen Now if you see the devstack version is pike, it's already installed.
okay dashboard is accessible from ip address slash dashboard i'm gonna open it i'll show you how you can access it we are not gonna do any any uh, open stack level practice yet it will be covered in next lecture it, it's gonna take some time depend on the resources you assign to the operating system to the virtual machine i mean okay the password is 25 i'm gonna show you you can use the same password for the image which is uploaded to my google drive you can download it using the link from the description guys this is done if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please do it I'm gonna cover whole OpenStack, each and every component of OpenStack. Thank you for joining again.